Hi friends, it's Mrs. Watkins. Today is Thursday, April 16th, 2020. I'm wearing my Learning is a Great Adventure shirt today. I'm ready for a new day, I hope you are too. I'm ready to get my teaching on and I hope you're ready to get your learning on today. This week we're learning all about eggs. I hope you're ready to have an egg-siding day today. It's the 148th day of school. Let's get ready to write the number. Making a straight line is fun. That's the way you make a one. Now let's make a four. Down and over, down once more. That's the way you make a four. Let's make an eight. Make an S, don't wait. Go straight up and make an eight. 148. How many more days till 150? Can you show me with your fingers? All right, well we know 148. Count on 149, 150. Two more days till we reach that 150th mark. In today's episode, we are going to be reviewing how many eggs were actually in the bowl. So I hope you submitted your egg estimate and we look forward to revealing those answers and learning lots of fun things today. We're gonna start off with a song. It's called the Egg Shaker Song. So the way I made my egg shaker is I took some of those beans that I used for that counting lesson a couple weeks ago, put some in there, and now we have a handy dandy shaker. If you wanna make one at home, go for it. If you don't, that's okay. You can pretend to have shakers in your hands like this. So the egg shaker sign goes like this. Egg shakers up and egg shakers down. Egg shakers Nancy, all around town. Dance them on your shoulder, dance them on your head. Dance them on your knees and tuck them into bed. All right, wake up your shakers. Let's do it again. Egg shakers up, egg shakers down. Egg shakers dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulder, dance them on your head. Dance them on your knees and tuck them into bed. All right, wake up your shakers. I hope you're ready to have an excellent day. Well, I'm going to pull another egg from our riddles. Do you remember yesterday's riddle? Let's see if you do. What is the Easter Bunny's favorite type of music? Because yesterday's riddle. Do you remember the answer? Hip hop. All right, we have a brand new riddle. The riddle says, why shouldn't you tickle an Easter egg? Let me show it to you. Why shouldn't you tickle? an Easter egg. Ready for the answer? It might crack up. Get it? Eggs crack. Definitely don't want your eggs to crack. <laughs> so why shouldn't you tickle an Easter egg? Because it might crack up. You can try that new joke on your family maybe tonight after you have dessert or dinner. You can try that new riddle with your family. Well, we are going to have a very excellent day today with our learning adventure. First, I wanted to share something with you. My friend, Mrs. Lestrico, who's also a teacher at John Sweat, she teaches second grade, and she is also the mother of Cortez and Amelia. Cortez is in Miss Fisher's class. She submitted a wonderful art lesson that she gave me permission to share. And actually, my kids and I tried it over Easter. So I wanted to share some of these cool ideas with you. Basically, you take a piece of cardboard, you cut it out into the shape of an oval, and then with foil, you wrap it up. And using a ruler and Sharpie, you make different designs. So this is the one I made, and I'm still coloring it. This one was Mayana's, and then this one is Lee's, and he's still working on coloring that. So be sure to check out that fun lesson if you're looking for something fun to do for our excellent week. We're gonna get ready for phonemic awareness. All right, we're ready for rhyme time. Which word rhymes with lunch, bunch, or fun? Which word rhymes with ouch, fry, or couch? Which word rhymes with flash, mash, or me? Which word rhymes with hush, must, or crush? Which word rhymes with much, touch, or my? Which word rhymes with fresh, mesh, or free? 
beginning sounds. Sheep, sh, them, the, choose, ch, thumb, th, shout, sh, thing. I'm gonna chop the sounds. You're gonna blend the word. Ready? The it's ch eep sh up the n sh l o ch at sh i n ch um th in All right, ending sounds. So I want you to tell me what sound you hear at the end of these words. Ready? Catch. Math. Cash. Itch. Both. Touch. Page one, all done. All right, I say a word, then you say a word, then chop it, chop it. I say a word, then you say a word, then chop it. Chop it, chop the sounds in the word shout. Shape. Chest. Then. Chin. Thud. Shirt. That. Chose. Chose. Adding sounds. Add ch to at. Chat. Add sh to elf. Shelf. Add th to in. Thin. Add sh to if. Shift. Add the to an. Than. Deleting sounds. We're going to take that first sound away. Take the beginning sound out of these words. Chance without ch. Ants. Thump without th. Ump. Shock without sh. Ock. Chunk without ch. Unk. Thus without th. Us. Page two, all through. We're going to change the beginning sounds in these words. Change chop. To sh, shop. Change pin to ch, chin. Then change to w, when. Chip change to sh, ship. Chat change to the, that. Get ready for your letter sounds. Yesterday we reviewed all of our letter sounds and names. Well, today I'm going to be introducing blends. So a blend is when you can see two letters and hear the sounds in both of those letters. So today I'm going to introduce all of the S blends. So all of these blends, we'll start with S and then we're going to um, say all the sounds and the picture card that we see. Ready? We'll start with the first one. Ready? S, P, your turn. Now say the sound, sp. So the picture card goes like this, spoon, sp. Ready? Spoon, sp. Good. Try this one. S, M, s, m. Mm. Can you say both of those sounds? S, m, mm. s, m, mm. as in smile. Ready? S, M, Mmm, smile. S, N. Now say the sounds. S, N, S, N, as in snowman. Ready? S, N, S, N, snowman. S, C, Sk. Can you say both sounds? Sk, as in scarf. Ready? S, C, Sk. Scarf. This one sounds similar to S and C, but it's a K. Ready? S, K, sk, as in skateboard. S, W, sw, 
Say both sounds. Sw, as in swing. Ready? S, W, sw, swing. Good. Here's the last S blend. Ready? S, T, st. Say both sounds. St, as in star. Ready? S, T, st, star. Excellent. We're going to be reviewing these S blends tomorrow as well. And next week, we'll be starting off with more of these blends. This week, we're reviewing all of our nursery rhymes. So yesterday was Little Boy Blue. Let's review that one. Little Boy Blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where's the little boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Today, we're going to be reviewing Jack Be Nimble. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. Ready? Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. All right, this concludes our phonemic awareness lesson for today. Today we're going to be thinking like scientists because we have a really fun challenge for you. There's so many fun egg experiments to try with eggs. So I want to introduce you to a fun tool that each of us teachers have made access for you. It's called the Epic app. So I want to show you what the Epic app looks like. You're going to want to have your parents or caregivers download that app for you. Each of us teachers have created free accounts for you to access fun books about so many different topics. So I'm going to show you for parents and caregivers at home. These are all of our Epic Library class codes that you can refer to by teacher name. So we have Miss Battles, Miss Fisher, Miss Roche, Miss Watkins, and Mrs. Urenda. So you can use these codes to access your child's free account on Epic. We want to encourage you to continue using Reading A to Z every day. You can log into that website as well, but if you're looking for more reading resources, Epic is a fantastic opportunity to access lots of books. So I want to show you some fun egg books that I found because at home I don't have a ton of resources. This has been really useful for me. So here's my class. Everyone has an account. You would just have to look for your name and then enter that access code when you sign up. I'm gonna be signing in as a guest today. So I'm gonna do that and I have some fun books that I already looked up. I looked up a bunch of fun books about eggs and I wanted to share some of them with you. And one of them happens to be the rubber egg experiment. You can make a rubber egg at home with some very simple items. So I want to show you what they're all about. So there's a lot of nonfiction information in this book. That means it's real information. Yesterday we learned about the inside of an egg with the diagram that I showed you. So I want to make a connection to that diagram that I showed you by showing you what I learned in this page. There's an egg shell, the egg white, the membrane, and the yolk. So in the book I learned about some really fun things that you can use to make your own rubber egg at home. You can make a rubber egg by using these very simple ingredients and today I'm actually going to try it. This title says, it's chapter three in this nonfiction book, The Experiment. Let's make a rubber egg. So the materials you will need are one egg, one glass or jar, one cup of vinegar, and a few drops of food coloring. This takes about five minutes to prepare, and I can see here that it will take about five days for the egg to turn into rubber. So I'm really interested in this. Let's take a look at step one. Step one says, hold the egg in your hand. How does the egg feel? Is it hard or soft? Gently put the egg in the glass. Have you ever tried to hold an egg? When I hold an egg, it feels cold and it feels hard. Step three, add the vinegar to the glass. The vinegar should cover the whole egg. Step four, add a few drops of food coloring to the glass. So food coloring changes the color of different things, different liquids and different foods. So you can choose to make it blue or any color that you have access to. 
the tip. It says right over here, you can check on your egg while you wait. What do you see? What are some observations that you can make? Put the egg in a safe place. Leave the egg in the glass for five days. So if today is Thursday, let's count the days of the week when we, the egg would finally be ready. We're gonna count on five, ready? Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So in Tuesday of next week, we're gonna check the egg to see what it looks like. After five days, take the egg out of the vinegar. Be very gentle with the egg so it does not break. Carefully peel off any last pieces of the shell. Rinse off the egg with water. So next Tuesday, we're gonna check our egg and see what it looks like by following these very simple rules. Step seven. Hold the egg a few inches above a table, then let it go. Watch the egg bounce. Wow, so these are the next steps we're gonna lick, come back to next Tuesday. Gently press on the sides of the egg. Does it feel different than it did when you began? Wash your hands with soap and water after touching the egg or the vinegar. Raw eggs can make you sick. So please use precaution if you're going to try this experiment. You definitely want to make sure you involve a grown up at home to help you with this part. Vinegar will sting if you rub your eyes. So scientists, make sure that you're being safe when handling these items. And that's the end of the egg experiment. Ask your mom and dad or caregivers at home if they would be willing to help you try the rubber egg experiment. If you want to read more fun books about eggs, I highly recommend that you check out this epic website that we have given all families access to. And not only will you find books about eggs, but you will find a library full of amazing different topics if you hit explore. There's all kinds of fun books to be able to access. Well, today I want to give you another engineering challenge. If that rubber egg experiment doesn't sound appealing to you, there's another fun challenge you can try, thinking like an engineer. So it's called the egg drop challenge. The egg drop challenge basically asks you to use materials that you have at home to protect a real egg from cracking based on how far you can drop the egg. So there'll be an extension video that follows up this where you'll be able to see my kids and I attempt to experiment and try our best to protect our egg. I wanna show you Mayana's little contraption. She made a little parachute out of a napkin. She used some bubble wrap and she even act, she even used one of these plastic eggs to make a little casing inside to protect an egg. We're gonna put a real egg inside here, close it up and then drop it from a ladder and see if the egg survives. So if you wanna try that experiment, go for it. Again, anytime you're handling raw eggs, you want the help of a grown-up. Make sure that you're washing your hands and being super safe if you're using ladders and other different ways to drop your egg. Always safety is our number one rule. Well, as promised, I let you know that I was going to reveal how many eggs were actually in the bowl for our eggstimate. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. Hit the symbol. Shh. The actual number of eggs is 51. 51 eggs. So I will be checking all of the eggstimates that were submitted and will definitely let you know whose eggstimate was the closest. I can't wait to see what fun books you will read by accessing EPIC. Here again are the class codes. You can also find these class codes on our Padlet, our resources Padlet. And I am curious about you trying the egg drop challenge or maybe even trying the rubber egg experiment. I'm gonna try the rubber egg a little later today with my kids. I wanna wish you a wonderful day. Tomorrow we're going to have another egg sighting day where we're gonna be learning about, ready? 
oviparous animals, animals that lay eggs. Have a wonderful day. You know what this means. I love you. We miss you. We hope that you have a fun learning adventure today at home.